Welcome to the ribbon cutting ceremony for the new Cambridge Police Department substation in Central Square. Right I'm going to start this morning off by thanking the two individuals most responsible for us being here today. And that's former Cambridge mayor and current city councilor E. Denise Simmons. Woo! And city manager Louis D. Pasquale. Early on in my tenure, Mayor Simmons impressed upon me the need for a fixed and increased police presence here in the square. And the city manager provided their approval, their administrative backing, and the know-how to get the pro a project of this magnitude done. Can't thank him and the deputy city manager enough. So please give them another round of applause. <laughs> on behalf of the Cambridge Police Department, I want to thank the Cambridge Savings Bank for generously leasing space to the city and for undertaking a substantial renovation to do so. So thank you, Cambridge Savings Bank. I'm grateful to Mayor McGovern for his leadership and to the City Council for their support on this endeavor. I'd also like to thank Mike Monesty of the Central Square Business Association for his ongoing collaboration. As you can imagine, he oftentimes was the medium through which residents and businesses clearly communicated their desire to welcome back a fixed presence in Central Square Without all of these factors, we would not be here today. Having a fixed space in such a central location of the city that is vibrant, culturally rich, and in many ways the fabric of Cambridge has a lot of benefits for the community and our officers. It's not only, it not only increases our visibility within the Central Square community, but also enables greater service to people living, working, and visiting the area. This enhanced visibility, visibility supplant, supplements the existing presence we have with our assigned Central Square officers, whose focus is, is to ensure safe, consistent, dedicated, and welcoming presence in the square. We are genuinely excited to return and look forward to being of service and continued partners for any of your needs or opportunities that will benefit the square. Lastly, I'd like to give thanks to Deputy Superintendent Pauline Wells. In her capacity as Deputy of Administration, Buildings and facilities come under her purview. She did an excellent job as project coordinator uh, for the substation, along with our facilities manager, Peter Boudreaux, so I'd like to thank them. I'd now like to welcome Mayor Mark McGovern for his remarks. I've seen, and lots of us have seen Central Square go through many changes over the years, and Central Square, uh, I said this the other night at the gala, Central Square is, I think, the square where we get to see all of Cambridge. I think you see a uh, range of people here that you just don't see uh, in, in other squares or other parts of the city, and it's what makes Central Square special. Uh, but what we've often talked about is, although we want Central Square to remain the cultural center, we want it to remain edgy, we want it to remain uh, diverse, that doesn't mean that we don't want it to be safe. And I think that, uh, at least if you listen to my grandmother, there was a hole left in Central Square when the police station moved. And a lot of folks started to feel that, um, you know, it wasn't as safe as it used to be. So now with the substation coming back, I think we're gonna have a great balance um, between keeping Central Square the rich place uh, and welcoming place that it always is, uh, but also making sure that it's a place where everybody from all ages uh, feels safe and comfortable and we're going to be able to do that because I think we have the best police department uh, anywhere. So I want to thank Commissioner Bard, I want to thank uh, the city manager, I want to thank Councilor Simmons who uh, put this order in uh, a couple of years back uh, and I'm really looking forward to uh, keeping Central Square a wonderful place to live, work and play. Thank you. Thank you Mayor. Please welcome Councillor E. Denise Simmons. I just want to say thank you to Louis D. Pasquale, who I wore out <laughs> about this, wore him out, but he he walked with me. And I really want to thank him for that for that. I remember when Commissioner Bard came, one of the first things I said to him after hello, thank you for coming to Cambridge was, you know, I want a substation here in Central Square. And he says, Oh, he was smart. He was polite. He smiled. He probably said, who is this woman? But uh, the most important thing is Central Square is the central part of our city. As Ken Barron and his dad would, would say, this is the heart of 
our city. And so as the heart, you want to keep your heart healthy. And this substation is going to contribute to the health of our city and the health of Central Square. So on behalf of the residents, for the seniors at 237 Franklin and 55 Essex and, and 114 Norfolk Street, to the families that are going to come through here, to the diners that we want to come and take advantage of the wonderful breadth and scope of all the different eating opportunities, and to our ground floor retail in particular, I just want to say thank you because I think this will, con I know this is going to contribute to the health of Central Square. And to the police officers, my very good friends, I love being from Cambridge and going out of Cambridge to say we have the best police force in the country. Yes? Applause, yeah. applause, applause. Please welcome our city manager, Louis D. Pasquale. Thank you. So I have a speech, but I'm going to skip it and just kind of wing it here because it's cold. First, I just want to say <laughs> This, this is a perfect example of everybody coming together. And it started, when it first started, as Mayor Simmons said, back then it was the mayor, who I was on the job about a week and made two quick requests. One was we need to have a station back in Central Square, and the other one was we needed a police officer in City Hall. So it took me a little while, but she's two for two, but she was right. But that's continued, as Mayor McGovern has stressed the importance, as the council has. But when we do things, it takes more than just the elected officials and myself. And I cannot thank the Central Square Business Association. Michael can't be here today. He's not feeling good. But the effort of the whole Central Square Business Association, I've been here two straight Friday nights to see what's going on in the square. It's wonderful. It's great. And they deserve an incredible amount of credit. So can we give them a big round of applause? I have to thank my good friend who really has been the point person for me. Bob Redden with the Cambridge Savings Bank. Bob has been an incredible partner in this, and I want to thank him because he has been on this from day one. And, of course, their president, Wayne Bataldma, who's over there. Wayne, thank you very much. Again, partnership is what it's all about. And I also want to thank the residents because I can tell you we got a number of emails saying, can you please do this, can you please do this. And in my role working with the council, the most important thing is to listen to the residents in this city. So we clearly have, and I'm really proud to be here. But last, and Councilor Simmons mentioned it, I really want to recognize the police officers that are here. Because we talk about Cambridge and we talk about our police department, but our police department, as I've said many times, is not about arrests. It's about helping people, people who need help, people who need it more than ever. And these offices here are the perfect example. They've already been here. They're already having a presence felt in this neighborhood. And I can't thank them enough. And Sergeant Catano from East Cambridge, Kanta, Katuski, LaMonica, and Simmons. Can we give them all a big round of applause? So again, thank you for everybody. This is a great day. Thank you. I'd like to ask the president and CEO of Cambridge Savings Bank, Mr. Wayne Patino. Uh, to come forward for brief remarks. Thank you, sir. Big hand, y'all. Big hand. Thank you, Commissioner Bart. Um, and all the distinguished people here, I, I can't name them all, but uh, they've already been introduced. But on behalf of Cambridge Savings Bank, we're really proud of, of being a part of this. You know, for me, it, it, in the Cambridge Savings Bank family, this speaks to a real uh, partnership between the city, of course, the police force, uh, and the community uh, to make this happen. And as a community bank, part of our mission is to support community, and we do that each and every day. And this is just one example of that. And as I said, we're very proud and on behalf of all the employees, our board of directors, our chairman, Bob Reardon. Thank you for allowing us to be part of this. And I sincerely mean that. Thank you. I'm back for one quick second. I did forget one thing. It's hard to pick people out and recognize them, but there's one family and one person, I think, who's been known for Central Square for many years. Mr. Kyle Barron has been a real leader in making Central Square what it is, and his son Kenny is here, and I want to just recognize and thank the Barrett family for all they've meant to Central Square. Thank you. Okay, 
right, we now get to the fun part where we get to pull the giant scissors out and cut this ribbon. I ask all the city dignitaries to come forward, please. <laughs>